right, Chuck Mound broadcasting live. We're at the Horror Flea Market here in Manville, 2019, and we're here with Russ Turk. And Turk does not go small. He goes big. He goes all out. And if you check out his collections here, tell me a little bit about your mask. You said you were off for like a 10-year hiatus. Tell, well, tell me what's going on. You know, when you make, when you make masks, it involves sculpting and clay and, and plaster and paint and you make a mess and when you you know until I bought my first home with an unfinished basement I didn't have the space to really I didn't want to destroy the apartment I was in but now that I'm in the house for the last almost over well, two years I have a workspace so I got back into after 20 years of making of not making masks I decided to get back into it so uh, I started back again two years ago and I've been working my very hard just trying to improve my sculpting and mold making and painting and these are some of the masks I've made. And uh, everything I, I do by hand, I sculpt. I come with each character, I sculpt them, I make the molds, I cast them in latex, I paint them, I add the hair by hand. Everything is handcrafted. These are not mass-produced masks made that you can get at a store. You can only get them from me or when I go to shows like this. So if somebody had an idea for a mask, is that something you can help them out with? Yeah, sure, but you know, they have to... You know, the cost of other someone I've had people that want to commission me to do masks, but you know it's expensive because I have to sculpt you know their idea for them, and that takes a couple of weeks to do a sculpture. Um, but most of the stuff I do, I just come up with my own ideas and I sculpt them, and I'm always sculpting something. That once I finish a mask, I move on to another one because I love doing it. Okay. I'm passionate about it. Now you can see that. I mean, these are very unusual. Uh, the size of these, you can really. It jumps out at you. No That's pun true. intended. No. <laughs> no, it's true. I, I think, you know, I don't know. I just tend to like to work big. It just stands out more. It pops. And when you walk into a show, my stuff stands right out from across the room. So if you're a haunt owner and you need new masks, this would be a good fit? It might be. Uh, and these are the different characters that you have right now? There's or there are on other... my Etsy page. I have a few that are sold out already that I have to make more copies of. But this is, you know, this is the best I have on hand right now to bring with me today. All right. And it's fantastic. Where are you out of? I have Plainfield, New Jersey. Okay. And on Etsy, it's Turk Monster Masks on Etsy.com. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.